uh, it's about you know, a new era really for English rugby. Uh, I had a conversation with the guys before the World Cup, and he was talking about the quality of players coming through the academy programme, and why don't we play young players, and my response to him was, um, let's wait until the World Cup's finished, and it was right when we took the group we did for the World Cup, um, but I always felt that um, January 2012 was going to be a defining moment um, about where we're going in the future, and hopefully, um, you know, with the selection that we've done, um, we've picked a side that's exciting, talented, um, and so we're committed to, to get us back um, where we want to be at the top of, top of the game. Um, and when we talk at the, at the outset about building teams, we talk about having great players, great culture, and good coach well. We recognise our, our responsibility to do that. Um, with that, there's also some players that retired recently, um, and also great trainers coach them for what they've delivered for. Um, for English rugby, and there's also some, some guys that haven't been selected. And I spoke to them and, and said the door's not shut, um, but we certainly want to use this Six Nations as an opportunity to develop uh, the next players in those positions. We want to develop a leadership group that's strong, we want to achieve, we want to be the best and be the best. Um, we spoke to them on the phone yesterday, the players are excited, we're excited, um, and we think it's a um, tremendous opportunity for us going forward to really. Um, build a squad that has potential for now, but also potential for the future. You know, I think from the outset, you know, when, when I was asked about the job and potentially doing the job, it was always in my mind. I, you know, we trust the players that we've selected. Um, a lot of them have been involved in the England team. They've been for the World Cup. The guys come in, they've been on the cusp of it for a while now. And you Tom Woods and Chris Robshaws, I think they deserve the chance. Um, and the new lads coming in have proven themselves in big, big games for their clubs, you know, in Europe. Um, so the likes of an Owen Farrell, um, you know, Charlie Sharples, you know, these boys have played a big game, so no, very comfortable. Some tough decisions um, uh, in, in lots of ways. One of the key things was, was form clearly, and I don't think anyone can argue that Mike Brown isn't in form. I think Mike deserves a shot. Um, I work with him in the Saxons and um, the form, one of the form for that, so, so that was that. Del, uh, Matt was a, a difficult call, um, it was a tight call, and Hugo Monu as well, I think obviously he was really pushing hard, but we just feel that um, David Strett and Charlie Sharples and, and Chris Ashton will give us what we want in terms of um, work rate off the ball and power and pace. And it, it'll, it'll, it'll balance our side well, but you know, these lads are in the sections, they're, they're one injury away from being called up, as you can see already from the selection. You know, with Lewis Deke being injured, you know, Jeff Palmer gets an opportunity. So, you know, we see the Saxons as an important part of the programme. We've got equally exciting players coming through that as well. So, you know, it's 64 players we see, not 32. The fundamental message about the will be about the reason why we all want to work hard for this team. You know, we're representing our country. Um, we're proud to do that as coaches. Um, the management are proud to do it, and speaking to the players last night, they're proud to do it. Um, we've got responsibility to get that culture right and that reason why. And then we've got a layer on, you know, the leadership and the attacking foundation. And, you know, we want to play a game that excites people. But recognising that you know, if it's a day like today, um, then uh, you know, we might have to drive a few more and I've got a guy beside me who's happy to, uh, to do plenty of that. The first message will be, um, we've got a fantastic opportunity. You know, we've, we've got a, a new group of players, and a lot of whom who, who you've seen play, who've been desperate for this chance. You know, speaking of the last night, the guys who've, got, who've been selected and, and, the, and the conversations I had, um, We've just got to pull together as a team quickly, which I'm sure we will because the fitness centre is already there. Um, and it's a matter of channeling that energy and that enthusiasm in the right way and get ourselves on the pitch, you know, ready to go, but also to back it up consistently and build a foundation that England can build on through to South Africa, through to the Autumn Internationals, and way, way beyond that. You know, we're at the start of a new era here. The best way to learn about players is to coach them. Now, Graham's coached some of them, I've coached some of them before, I've coached all of them. So, you know, we want to use the first week as a really important building block, not just for um, building foundation to the team, but also for selection as well. So, you know, by having 30 odd players there, you can go, you know, pack on pack, you can go backs on backs, you can go 15 on 15. Uh, so, it'll give us a good chance to see how they go on. We've got, our, we've got our ideas, clearly, but, you know, we'll keep an open mind and uh, we'll see how the week comes out. I think my views on captaincy are, um, is that you. you, you the most important thing for me is to get the leadership group right. You know, lead, you know, we need to develop a new group of leaders now. There's a, there's a group of leaders that have left this squad, um, and there's a new group that needs to step up and take the lead. Um, and you know, whether it's a 
and Dylan Hartley or a, or a Chris Rochelle or a Tom Wood or a Ben Youngs or a Toby Flood. They're the types of names I'm thinking about, about who are going to become the future leaders of this England team. You know, good characters, good people, talented players who we want to put experience into. So by the time we, we hit Murrayfield, but look to the future, we can have some sustainability.